Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector Update 95A, and we have some very exciting math that we can try to do right here. I mean, someone who's better at this game could probably tell me how to do it. What it boils down to is that we have a contract that we've taken that is all the way in the corner of the star system. We have another contract that's all the way up over here at 17,000 total, plus it teaches... Or, 170,000. I'm already doing bad at my math here. Plus there is a jungle planet up here. So, I mean, this Australia is really far away from what I'd like to do. I'd rather have really nowhere farther than like these yellow stars for a good colony. But if there's a jungle planet, there may be some other places around there where we can pop off and get some fuel. Um, kind of the same with the red giant over here. There may be a mothership or something that'll, um, well, not the red giant, but the Gamma Abaddon, which is where this is at. So we're going to take the risk, and we are going to try to see if we can do enough out here to get back over here. And um, you know what? If, if things go worse to worse, we have a few options. If people have mentioned in the comments section before... You can always throw out a Distress Beacon and try to uh, drink some pirates. Oh look, uh, Distress Call from Beta Toronto. Uh, well, maybe we could try to drink some pirates over there perhaps. But see, right on cue. Plus, um, we can always try to save fuel if we're good on supplies by uh, hopping through some of these storms and getting a little speed boost there, which I'm going to do that method right now and hopefully won't knock me too far off course. Um, every little bit counts. Like, this is Gamma Abaddon. You can see already... I better have good faith in my math, or I'm going to be spending a lot of supplies uh, mothballing and recovering. Uh, probably the Legion. Maybe some of these other ships I can do as well. Um, but yeah, let's start by looking at our actual contract here. So, survey ship located some distance away from the center of the star system. So we probably want to take the fringe jump point and go from there, right? That seems like a solid plan. No beacons out here. I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest. And, um, looks like we have a lot of nothing. Looks like we have something. Um, and that's not what we're looking for because it's, um, so far we actually have a stable location that's inside a star. Is that that stable? Um, it's a Dominion Era probe. All right, well, we've, uh, oh, okay, we got some pings over here now. Maybe maybe we are in business. Okay, and there's no fighting here, so we can, we are gonna do what we always do. We're gonna do team double salvage, as long as I don't accidentally emergency burn, which I can understand why for balance reasons, the developer said, you know what, we don't, we don't want you doing this because it pretty much turns salvage spots into unlimited resource pods. Let's put a ping out over here. Oh, there's our uh, quest survey ship. So this is probably guarded. Eh, but it also gives us 90,000. Yep, oh, well, there's the guards. Um, obviously, we're engaging in these because they have fuel. And we're going to bring everybody because we don't want any... Oh, we're not going to... We're not literally deploying everybody. I guess I should have known that double-clicking all would do that, but it's one of those joy of discovery, as it were. Sorry for the very good bodily sounds there. Um, not sorry. All right. So what did we learn about flying a legion last time? Is that it makes things go boom. Um, it's tanky. I have an F key that'll let me fly myself into danger. Um, so far... I've been able to take out tiny ships really well. We're going to see if we can up the ante here, I guess. It's probably a decent screen grab that I'll have to do later. So there's there's some fighters. Let's see if we can go ahead and have our people engage this. Fire some missiles. Now, I'm sh not sure if I can alternate with the uh, suppression rockets here and fire another uh, hammerhead, but whoa, that's, uh, that's pretty good. All right. Let's see if we can continue to engage here. So I'm a fan of the suppression rockets for sure. And uh, you guys are trying your best. And we're trying to replace these. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a uh, massively deadly squad here. Um, do we have anybody else to kill? Yeah, we got some 
Got some little ones over here. So yeah, bombers and fighters, a good combo. And uh, we got all of our little ships doing things here, so everybody contributes to the victory. Enemies defeated, okay, we have to full clear them. And they give us 55 fuel and an AI core, how nice. So if we can turn this stuff in, then that'll be good. And we get the, we get the survey of the derelict ship as well, and I'm glad I sold those. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of fuel. That's exactly what we needed, and um, we have a debris field as well, so we might even be able to get a little bit more. Oh no, we lost some heavy machinery, but we got a lot of supplies and a lot of fuel. So see, this is this is the thing in Star Sector is that you've gotta you've gotta be willing to push. Like right here, we can get back now if we want to turn over there. But now I'm looking like we have Barack over here. <laughs> It's like, do I want to take this black hole now? Honestly, I'd do it if we were up here where we have a bunch of black holes, but uh, we've barely even started the video, and it's just like, okay, we can we can do this, and we got some more sensor pings over here. It's another probe. I will happily take on this probe. Um, we have, a, oh, and we don't even have to fight the probe. Nice. So it's literally just free supplies. We're doing uh, the double tap rules. So uh, Jesse Eisenberg will be proud of us. And that's another probe. So we're getting a lot of like little discovery locations here. Oh, oh, they actually have actual defenses. Okay, um, we're definitely flying you and we're definitely flying you. I think I'll take both apogees. Let the other two rest a little bit. Nope, not like that. We'll just bring it. We'll just bring everybody over here. May even press F real quick just for fun. Ooh, look at those rockets go. All right, so there's our sensor contacts. We'll go ahead and send our little guys over here. Our guns should be able to do a lot of work here, if if I could aim them. Now, one of the big changes from the Legion versus um, what I've been flying, the Apogee, is that I've really got to watch my... Uh, shield cone, especially when we have these guys over here. Fortunately, they don't have shields, but we do have to be mindful that they are, in fact, dangerous. Should be able to fire some suppression rockets. Yeah, you're gone. Good. Who's left? Let's regroup. Look, our suppression rockets are just flying out into the air. Oh, oh, they found a target. They even beat up the uh, support before we're there. So, there's everybody down. We are uh, kicking automated defenses butts. And, oh, we actually got a mod spec and two AI cores as well. So, this is uh, solid money. And um, the probes memory banks are kind of dead, so that sucks. Look, a ton of AI cores. We are going to we are gonna need this money. Alright, well now that we're here. Look, we can get all the way over here. Maybe I do stop in Barak. That um, there's probably a research station that'll have even more fuel. Because uh, we're uh Oh, there's there's another ping. Let's let's actually do uh Okay, it doesn't look like there may not be much more than this, but it's orbiting a planet. It's a probe. Okay. This is fine. It has defenses. Let's engage them. I love how the Legion just has um, all of its stuff available. You know what? We'll bring everybody. These fights aren't taking too long. But if everybody kind of follows me, we can go to victory. I hope. And hopefully we can stop bumping into each other like a bunch of idiots. But this is good experience for all of my people. So we'll um, we'll just see if we can make this happen. Once again, we have tiny boats flying out here early. And uh, we're obviously not doing a good job aiming at them. But you're going to get deleted right now. There we go. That's our uh, ramming speed buddy from before. And it has, oh look, we can actually see the AI pilot on it now, so that's nice. Um, yeah, we should just be able to punch you out. That's good. 
Um, that was probably the biggest threat. So let's uh, fire some rockets over here if we can get you in range. Oh, we didn't even need to do that. The Apogee's just got it covered. Man. Um, apparently, just getting a Legion just solves all your problems. Wow, this looks, looks so tiny. Let's kill it. Look, it's got rockets going everywhere towards it. It's, it's not a good day to be an AI. Especially when we're just going to reposition ourselves a little bit closer. There's all of our uh, bombers, all of our fighters. Good game. In theory. I didn't even hit the... Um, I thought I hit print screen. I guess I'll know after if I did. Oh, we got a beta core as well. Even more money, which is good because if you were not paying attention in the last video or just joining us now, we... Um, we kind of have a money income problem. So this is one reason I'm thinking of continuing to try to do all these contracts is just because we are currently running a deficit. I've found a lot of really good ships early, but uh, we're losing 10,000 per month. Our stipend's going to last for 24 more months, but I'm, I'm in a position to make a colony sooner. Oh, there's a picket class drone. Derelict ship. Oh, that's just, it's just called a picket drone. I'm stupid. Well, I guess maybe, you know what, no, that's probably for um, if I have the skill to recover these ships. So if that's everything here, we'll do uh, one more queue here. But look, we can, oh god, we can totally go to Barak. And then we can go up to wherever, I think it's Australia or one of these. There's actually a lot of potentially habitable planets, and I, I hate having something on the edge of the edge of space, especially when it kind of locks me away from doing so much stuff on the right-hand side, but we have to see what's available. Alright, so one more ping. Yeah, it looks like we it looks like we cleared out this area. So that, that at least gives us a chance to um, recover some combat readiness, so that was a good that was a good dive. Alright, so let's look at our fuel one more time. We have a lot of space to go up here. I kind of want to do this. And then we have 52 days to do this, 62 days to deliver the blasphemate to the sealed container to over here. So let's, um, yeah, that's, um, that's an Australia. Oh, Australia. I'm, I'm just turning it into a Spanish all of a sudden. Don't even speak good Spanish at all. I don't even speak good English. But yeah, we're going to get our money take here in just a second. Um, but yeah, this may be a little greedy because it's going to cost us a few hundred fuel. But I'm banking on a research station giving us a lot of fuel. So we got a black hole planet here. Don't want to go too far. And uh, we got some planets over here as well. No beacon, which is exciting. So we got a ton of supplies to do repairs. So. Unfortunately, it does not cost fuel for us to be here. There's a stable location down here. Okay, so we just let everybody know that we're uh, in the neighborhood. Let's see, do we have any um, sensor contact, or is this like going to be a tragedy? Okay, that's a, that's a very sad barren world that probably tore apart whatever moon I had going around it before. Oh, there's something out here. So hopefully we don't get supply starved in a second. This is a probe. All right. Found a derelict era survey ship, and we didn't even have to fight it. And we got some fuel. Hopefully, get the good double tap here. Like we're 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 amassing a ton of metal, but of course we don't go to a black hole so that we can get um, this kind of garbage. I'd be really dis. Oh, maybe that's it. 
Oh, Domain Era Survey Ship. Well, that's still pretty good. And uh, we got something closer to the Black Hole. I bet that's the research station. All right, well, we probably have automated defenses at both. Oh, oh, derelict mother of ship. All right. And we got another beta core. And we're uh, currently over carrying here, so let's ditch some metal. But yeah, this is this is why you this is why you poke the bear, as it were. Um, we can get rid of like the numbers eventually start going really high here, but we can get rid of 500 metal. This is fine. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on, and suddenly being able to hit shift to go faster. Uh, makes things a lot more interesting. We have a ton of supplies. Oh boy, that better be it. It's a minor weapons cache. That's not what we're here for, dude. I mean, we're in the event horizon, so our drive field's disrupted. You know, that's pretty good. And uh, we can't actually do anything with it, but yeah, Hurricane MRIV. I'd love to be able to build those myself whenever I build a colony. We didn't even get sucked into the black hole. How um, fun is that? So do we just not have a research station here? I guess we'll do a big lap. Give ourselves a chance to recover here. Um, I'm going to guess that what beeped over there is something we've already been to. No, it's not. It's an actual derelict ship. By the way, while I'm here, um, where exactly is the... Oh, I, oh shit, I actually gotta watch my time on missions. I can't... I got 28 days to go to a jungle world. So, we can't... We can't fuck around here for too long. But the, uh, Dominion Era Mothership is located next door. I guess the question is, do we do that now? I think the answer might be yes. Kite shuttle. Oh man, that's not worth it. Okay, let's uh, finish our lap. Like, where fuel situation's amazing. So. I don't know. If we know the mothership's there, our contracts may eventually take us back to it. I'm kind of inclined just to do one more ping and then go look at what our guaranteed money is and then maybe we dive back down man okay this this could be a research station I doubt it I don't have high hopes anymore but it's a Hermes shuttle well I guess black holes can be disappointing too cool um, bit of a waste of time Unless I hit it at the very last second here, but this is literally my ing ingress point. All right, let's just get out of here. There's losing more money. All right, there's our uh, angry wallet. 18 days. We have got to. We've got to do this first. Um, so good news is that we have a lot of fuel. Bad news is that we need to get to Australia right now. So, um, fortunately, we can fly there fast. Fortunately, er, we can take some solar storms to boost our speed. So, it's like we're able to play the game even faster now with actually remembering that we can speed up time. I feel like I've randomly done this from time to time, like push and hold shift instinctively when, like, trying to fly through stuff. But here's an interesting star cluster. All right, so this is our line of uh, red and orange stars, and where's it trying to send us to? So yellow star is pretty close. Yellow star is pretty close. Got a gas giant over here. Um, how many days? We got 11 days, so we've got to get this survey in now if we're going to get our payment for being out here. Oh my gosh, we actually still have enough fuel to get over here. Maybe I do go back for that. It's that's really going to be determined by this because now that we've located that mothership it's there it's locked in oh, oh that's an unidentified fleet with some good ships 
I really want to tangle with them, but I've got to get over here first. So maybe they'll run from us. They're investigating. We do fly faster than them, so... We'll, we'll think about it. If we need to uh, drink some pirates, I might be inclined to do that because um, I'm feeling a little dangerously confident in um, this legion, and you you all know how that turns out. But we could, you know what? Instead of trying to go back here, we could totally hit this black hole, hit this yellow star, hit these yellow stars, and probably still get there if we do good here. So I didn't even look. We have a desert world. We have a jungle world. Oh, God, of course. Of course, we have a place with a shit ton of planets that's just super far away. And these are going to have, like, beautiful habitability, and the game's going to be like, well, why don't you settle a colony out here on the edge of fucking space? Okay, we got a, um, got a lot of shit orbiting shit. Um, a Sunder class destroyer. Don't know about that, but survey. Let's get our money first and not accidentally colonize. So another dangerous planet, but it's habitable. Okay, so we're we're getting paid. Um, that's kind of uninspiring. Other than the extensive ruins, it's going to give it a class five, but it has a little bit of everything, but not a lot of anything. So let's not accidentally colonize. That'd be a great way to ruin the save. Ooh, eighty-nine marines just sitting there on the planet. They've got to be happy to see somebody. Um, okay, volatiles, organics. Hey. High tech blueprints, Apogee. That's actually really nice. And not just for the Apogee, so I can build those in my fleet, but also getting things like the long range uh, point defense laser being able to build is huge. And we also got a Wasp LPC, converted fighter bay. I didn't know, we didn't already know that. All right, so are we over our limits? No, we're close. So the organics go for 30, these go for 30, so neither of them are very exciting but let's not establish a colony all right so we've got a tempest frigate a sunder class let's go ahead and while we're here let's learn this and let's definitely learn this we do not want to sell that on the black market and have pirates all over our face yeah we um we have a lot of fuel i'm i'm very happy with how this is going uh we are not recovering that as nice as the Sunder is. We'll take the high intensity laser though. Thank you. And uh, we'll just drop 300 metal. Tempest frigate that has four harvested organs. Ew. Yeah, we're not um we're not doing that. And you have a tiny pulse laser. What are you? It's a barren desert wall. Oh my god, you have like how many different planets? Now it's a barren desert planet, so I don't know if that's going to be strictly habitable or not, but ooh, it's only 125. So thin atmosphere. Let's perform a survey. It has volatiles on it. That's, that's actually a really kind of big deal. Um, we're not going to do anything with it. Get away from me, but kind of exciting. Um, playing with things that we can't actually mess with, so here's a desert world. I'm kind of surprised pirates haven't just taken over this one. Well, it's decivilized, so that's probably why. The pirates are already on the planet. 200%, so not great. But considering our options that we have in the save so far, um, not terrible at all. Widespread ruins as well. Not not a ton of farming, but you know, if we look over here, nobody's claimed this area. Well, we'll definitely explore the ruins. Don't have anything like I've seen other people post online where it's like, look at all this, like, ships that I've found and hangars and stuff. That's a, ooh, an Afflictor class phase frigate. A dangerous and swift phase frigate with weapons loadout that is powerful enough to bring down much heavier ships. The Afflictor possesses a device which exploits unique modification and its integral phase coil array to project a field of an anomalously amplified entropy. Curious. I mean, we're going to learn it, so let's not establish a colony. That's the danger of carrying so many apogees is that every we want to colonize all the things. 
heavy armor's cute. It actually is not terrible on a legion, but um, okay. I think I wanna take a look around this system because now we're on our own time. So anything we get here is a bonus. Like, what's our fuel profile like? I think going down there. I mean, the mothership could be good, but we'll be we'll be back. We'll be sent back in this area at some point. It's probably better if I just go east, go down here. I mean, we're gonna see what the system has anyway. We got a bunch of yellow stars on the way. Okay, we got pings in multiple directions. Nice to feel wanted, I guess. That's a mud skipper. Hooray, I guess. With 25 more crew in it. Welcome aboard. I still need to think of a name for whatever colony I'm making. Right now I'm kind of thinking of calling it Humanity's Trash. Just for the double play of calling people that have built up a world that's in this kind of situation in the future. This situation in the future trash as well as um, us being a bunch of cast-offs. It looks like it might have... Oh, it doesn't have... Um, anything here but it doesn't cost us a lot to survey it and it has a really nice extreme heat rating so let's perform a survey this will be where we accidentally colonize won't it all right and we got some pings over here found another debris field I kind of don't see the debris field it looks like we got something over here what is it I need to know. It's an equipment cache. We have we have a good amount of supplies. I think we can maybe get it. Yeah, we got it. Salvage, please. Oh yeah, um, advanced optics and integrated point defense AI both solid. No double tap. Um, anybody? Anybody? Oh, we got a whole bunch of shit just over here. It's a whole second star system. Let's see if there's anything by this planet. Nope. We're just flying around like some little crazies now. Just going through space with our speeding up time. Relativity be damned. And this is, there is a jump point over here, right? Yes, okay, I was gonna say. Oh, what, relationship? Oh no! Well, this is what I get for being like, well, then nah, we wouldn't have made it there on time anyway. Um, so he doesn't like us, whatever. Sensor array is neutral. Can we hack into it? Nah, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it. We got a ping over here. We ooh, we got a lot of pings. We're losing even more money now, so that's exciting. What are you? You're a Vigilance class frigate. I don't know what that means. Guess we got to burn to find out. Okay, you're... You're not worth it. Can't double tap it. And then we had another ping out here. I think. No, it was down here. Okay. So kind of a fascinating run through. I don't know where those pirates went or whoever that was. Maybe that was just an independent salvage fleet. A uh, Phaeton class tanker. Um, I don't think we need another one. So let's just begin salvage. These used to be like your floating fuel stations and now they don't have, they don't have any of the, just like the game changes. Let's just make sure we didn't miss anything to the left. All right. So fuel. We definitely have enough to go here and here. We probably have enough to go here and here. We, Unless we want to assume the mothership is not going to destroy us like that $50,000 pirate base. Um, I don't think I want to make that assumption even though I have a legion. Um, I actually wouldn't mind going maybe trying to get some better ships. So let's see real quick if this place looks good. I just want to see if it has planets. Okay. Now we go. Now we go over here. 
Hmm. And we are just... We're going to be taking a little bit of damage here. It's all the damage boosting I want to do. You guys aren't fighting anymore. Congratulations. So, well, you, black hole system. Okay, we officially can't investigate this double yellow star place yet. We need to uh, stay in range of this. Can we go into the black hole? Can we look at Beta Sari? I think we can go into the black hole. There's a lot of planets around this black hole, too. Smock. All right. Barren ice, frozen barren. Ooh, this is a uh, this is very spread out. This might have been a bad move, but we can still make it if we find a little bit of fuel, or we take down another one of our ships. All right, so this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna fly over here. Nothing. So apparently black holes with um, a bunch of planets around them are just apparently spread out messes of garbage. Of course, this is the exact kind of system I found one of my first ever uh, 14th Legion things, but... So that's hiding Blue Crow, the frozen world. Man, this is, a, this is an example of a black holes making me sad. We do have an ice planet over here. We do have some fields over here, but if this is like devoid of anything, this is going to be a legendary misplay after doing something so well. So that asteroid stuff didn't even give any sensor pings. Is this just the least interesting black hole in the world? It might be. Wow. This is uh, terrible. And we should feel terrible. All right. So supplies are no longer our friend. Money is now an issue. I chose very poorly going here. But now we know. All right. Time to just cut our losses. There's literally nothing of interest here. That's two non-research station black holes. Ugh. And uh, one more desperation ping. And now I've got to figure out, can we get the Thule without cutting down um, the ship here? We can barely. Tile, even. Thule's like Everything moves around. Alright, so we can't even, like, deviate just to poke a look-see down over there. So I guess we will be back later. Ooh, that, that doesn't even have... I'm kind of glad we didn't go there. That doesn't even have, like, any planets around it. Alright, well, strike that one off the list. Let's get some damage boost, even though it's going to really hurt our uh, supply here. Okay, so speeding up time. Oh, shit. Oh, they are going so fast. Can I fight them? Um. Damn, just missed them. All right. That's like free fuel right there. Free fuel, free supplies. Would have actually been really nice to take that fight. But we'll, um... We'll take surviving. Look at this. Look at this. This is like screeching in to like just a halt. Alright, so we have... What's our closest parking spot? Right here. Look at this. We have... 36 fuel and 107 supplies. We nailed it. Good, good fucking game. Alright, we have... We have lived. We have... Uh, we have information on that up there. We know the Legion's good. Um, oh. 
actually got some uh, exploration for some of these. Okay. So I guess the question is, which do I want to take? That corner of the galaxy thing. It puts us by some black holes. Black holes have kind of burned me. 60,000 for this up here is less of a travel distance. It lets us go by here. Let's just go by here. Maybe we can get some other contracts around here. I'm going to take this derelict ship up here. And we'll see if we can get some other contracts around. Like, well, that's that's the wrong direction. There's a, a bounty that... Ugh, we might be able to start taking some of these bigger ones. There's actually a bounty up there. It's up there for one more day, so boo that. Let's uh, start by... Surviving. We have we have so few supplies. Um, do I even want to sell this shit here? First off, look at what they have. A champion heavy cruiser. That's some that's some new stuff here. Um, in case you just want to see it, there it is. And always pause the video. They have one on the black market too. That for some reason cost more on the black market. All oh, because this one has two demons. Terrible. All right, what can we sell that I don't care about? Because I want to. I want to drop these off for a little bit more money. Um, like econ here doesn't really help us very much. It's just. It's not. It's just not worth it. All right. Local deficit can be sold at a higher price. That's a high enough price. Um, we don't want to sell these here because it's only 12 per unit. We'll sell these here despite the tariff just to try to build some good faith. Um, yeah, good stuff. And then we can buy just enough fuel to get us, get us out of here. And just enough supplies to uh, get us to survive. Because we don't want to do too much business here. We just want to do enough business. Is there a place that needs heavy machinery? Ah. Um, okay, Cibola needs it. So we can definitely trade on Cibola for a lot of this heavy machinery. Which is all the way up there. Cool. All right, so we we need more fuel. It's so funny to be like, we just buy a little bit of fuel, we'll be able to make it through. Not really. Like, I want to do some sales with some independents. I want to do some sales with Tri-Tech, which probably means we hop over here and over here. Um, repair ships at the dockyard. That's 26. Any work at the bar here? Shady woman with off-brand data pad. Um, help me move 32 harvested organs. That's, that's not even worth it, man. Rakish Man says, Deliver the item to a specified location, Alpha and Cameron system, and um, the reward is 52000 uh, Don't be... Well, let's see here. Don't be detected, so... Alpha Carmoron. And then you have... Concern when we walk into our table. We have fuel that needs to be brought over here for a hundred thousand to the Ludic Church. And I can hold more fuel. And it's five point four light years away. Story point to double that, yes please. And we got 273,000 fuel. That's good. That's that's some solid money. I want to see where Alpha Cormoran is, though. Um, unfortunately, I'm not exactly how to sure, sure how to look by system here. And I hate I hate that. Like if we look on our map here. 11 light years away. There's Alpha New Biscay. If we show um, 
constellations here. Okay. This takes us down here. But it's another black hole. If we're already dropping stuff off at the Ludic Church anyway, yeah, we'll take that. See, we're not we're not entirely bad. Sometimes we uh oh, we have an officer available as well. Um, what can you do? You are steady and level two with gunnery implants. Ooh, and a strike commander. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Um, so we've got a little bit of business to do, and we've got some shit to drop off, but we um. Let's see. Let's let's go ahead and get that uh thing from the bar before I forget. Rackish man wants me to uh, drop this off for 50 some credits. Dead drop accepted in a black hole. It's always the black hole systems. Um, I guess there's not a lot I can do about that other than say that I can't be too disappointed. So we have 3,000 some fuel. We're actually going to need to buy a bit of a surplus to make sure this works. So Intel. One story point for 50,000 credits may kind of be a waste. But we need to get this to where? To Hesperus. All right. I think we can do that on... Um, well, we can definitely do that on here. But um, first thing we need to do is to go over to this station so that we can conduct some business. Capitalism, ho. Yeah, we're about to wrap this one up just because it's going to be a little bit of missioning and then we can take care of some other stuff next time. Like if we if we go down here to the bottom to just get some more money, hopefully, hopefully, because I accepted a mission from the uh, Persian League to go the way up here, we should be able to get there. Yeah, oh my god. Eastern, this map is, uh, this is why I don't like going on the eastern or western tips here. I can put myself up on some of these stars a little bit more because the core systems this this map is wide so we can we can make that okay consider our military options no we don't need to um, first off let's go to our fleet here before I forget and um, let's put you um, in here so you're level two do we have another we don't actually have another ship that you can pilot right now I probably need to change that um, Well, anyway, um, we can sell you for a pretty good amount somewhere else. We can sell this heavy machinery. We can do it on the black market. We're not getting any tariffs, but this is fine. Well, yeah, you know what? Let's do it on the black market. They want to get mad at us. We're, we're supplying you guys here organics 21 versus 42 I kind of want I kind of just want to get rid of them so but yeah we got we got a crap ton of heavy machinery for all of our work we actually have Marines um, F1 for more info we don't okay I guess we're not oh my god I need to stop pressing escape um, these don't really sell for much more other places, so we can just get rid of this. Harvested organs gone. Planet surveyed. No. Oh. Yeah, why not? All you, all of you gone. Um, anything else? Not really, but it's a little bit more money. Do we have any ships for sale that are enticing? Not here. Okay, so we have a spare officer right now that we definitely want to get. Um, signed up for something and on the black market we need to buy your fuel and your supplies and on the open market we need to buy out your fuel and we need to buy some of your supplies that should be okay all right so this is uh, star sector again we've got a lot of cores to sell um, one of the interesting conundrums that is gonna come up here as uh, we have a shifty looking person here um, you look like someone who wants to find the latest security codes for the Persian League not really um, there's other people I might want to piss off but not them um, 
other than I've already kind of done it here. But we have some interesting questions and decisions to go on here. Because like I said before, I am really needing to think about making a colony soon. And right now our best planet by far is in is this place. And this system's pretty close. Um, but it is a start hazard rating of 175. But we have like all the resources. There's another planet here with abundant ore. There's another planet here with all kinds of ore. We didn't even survey those two. Um, and this one does have some farmland, so we would have to import food here. Um, just things, just things to think about. If we look at um, our other planets that are class five, we have the uh, well. It's not, it's not all about just the class five. We don't, obviously, we want to look at places that are um, not claimed, but like this, this area, this system's really good. The planets are not great. Like I'm a little concerned about resources, especially for how far away this is. Like if this desert world had like a little more than this for 200, it's, it just raises some questions. So I have my own thoughts on it. I am happy to hear you all's as well but that's going to do it for this one um just kind of a preview for things to come i do have one spare officer i do want to get some more ships eventually but for now i think this is a good time just to say you know what it's been a very successful session of play we need to get more money for a colony eventually but i have to rip that band-aid off soon we got we've got some missions got more things that we can try to do be a good time or i mean we're going to be getting a lot of money as long as we don't accidentally burn that fuel so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it um, this is one of my long dyson sphere program style sign outs apparently but this is asher with star sector like it if you like it i've asked like 50 times in here give me feedback if you're thinking about something that i've said and i i should make like a little bullet list of what i've said that i'm curious about because now i don't remember half of it but need to get some stuff together need to look for some more stars perhaps but clocks ticking on the save we need to get uh moving with our next phase of the game so hope you enjoyed it we'll do it again soon take care